Well, hello there, everyone. My name is Amy. This is the Penny Woman, and welcome to my queer lit readathon TBR. Shit's about to get gay. Gay. <laughs> um, I am so excited. Uh, the queer lit readathon for this year. Usually, queer lit readathon runs for a week in June during International Pride Month. Um, and that's when I like to take part. It's like the only readathon that I really take part in, um, except for the Trans Rights Readathon earlier uh, this year. Um, but this this year they're doing it for the entire month, which is excellent because I take every June. I mean, I read pretty gay. I read pretty gay, but I take June to be my gay my gay book time. You know, I only read from queer authors, queer stories. Um, Whatever I can get my hands on that is an inkling of queer, that is what I read during June. So the Queer Lit Readathon being for a whole month is just excellent for me. So here's the bingo board. Um, I am looking to go down, so from Trans Joy down, and then possibly across that way as well. Um, I could be pointing it the wrong way, but I, I will vlog this. I have, Every week I'm going to have a vlog. I'm going to be vlogging my entire June. Um, and what I'm reading and all of that. So I'm really excited. I'm hoping to hit both bingos. That would be really fun. But I also just want to see what books I feel like reading as well. So what my TBR is basically is um, I've picked a book for each of the blocks that I think I can hit <clears throat> with an audiobook or a physical book. Um, and then the other ones... I don't have anyone's like any book particularly for them. Um, I might hit all of these books. I might not. It's quite a big stack. So we'll just see how my reading month goes. I am going to be focusing a lot on reading. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Also, do you, I think my hair looks cute today. Tell me my hair looks cute. Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's get started. So the first topic is banned books and because of the Queer Lit Readathon Instagram which I'll put in the doobly-doo um, I found out that last night at the Telegraph Club by Melinda Lowe is a banned book it's about lesbians in a club and like if you watch my videos you know that I very much prefer to keep myself in the dark like when I look when when I get recommended a book like on YouTube or BookTok or something I will put it onto my TBR and try and forget about it. So I'm going to be vague about what these books are about um, because I want to go in w with a unknown, you know. So this is about a lesbian bar in Chinatown in the 50s during the Red Scare. Yes, so um, this is a banned book. So this is going on my list. I think it's it's in my diagonal, from, so from banned books across, that's what I'm hoping to hit. So this one is definitely going to get read. Smells good, like 10 out of 10. Um, I'm very excited to get to this one. Then we have Group Read. The Group Reads for this year is Fina by an author that I can't remember. It'll be here. Um, and All Boys Aren't Blue by George N. Johnson. Um, I don't have access to Fina and also it's like sci-fi. It's not like I've, I've read the, the blurb about it. It's not really my type of thing. And I've already read All Boys Aren't Blue. I highly recommend it. I read it for Pride two years ago. So I highly recommend it. I found it on Scribd. So if you have Scribd, go check it out. Um, it's read by the author and they are excellent. Um, uh, I'm hoping they come out with another one, even though it keeps on getting banned. They come out with another one about their gender journey. It would be really cool because that is from a non-binary author. Um, but yeah, not participating in the group reads this year. Then we have one that I've been excited for for so long and what I've said to myself is that I'm going to let books count for two blocks maximum because some of them I could hit like four blocks with but I don't want to pull a ring out of it. So I am going to hit Trans Joy and Memoir with The Natural Mother of the Child by Chris Malcolm Belk. This is a memoir in essays. No, it's not short stories. It's a memoir in essays about the author... The author, there he is, he him, he him, um, and it's about his journey as a non-binary parent. Um, I've been so excited to read this one. I got my mom to buy it for me in the UK because I couldn't find it in South Africa. Um, I think this is going to be the book that I'm going to start off my June with, and I'm 
super amped for it. Then for the question marks block, I have decided to make it a local read. So I can read all the Gomorrahs are the same by Tinjiwe Msane Mswane. Tinjiwe Mswane, you are an ignorant white bitch. Um, yes, I have been recommended this as a lesbian fiction um, by an employee at the book lounge. I wanted to read it for a while. It follows three different women like in this different family. And it just says epic tale to the eyes of three women. And it's about sexuality, sexual abuse, mental health, addiction, and loss. And it sounds excellent. So yes, that one is going to be for the question marks, the local read. I do not have a book for MSpec. However, I do have a couple of books, which I think might have MSpec characters in, but I'm going to have to read the book to find out. So one of my other books might uh, tick the MSpec box, but you'll have to find out in my... Um, in my, in my vlogs uh, which one of those happened to be it because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be so excited I've got in my bullet journal I've got a little block and I'm going to colour in it's going to be elite it's going to be elite um, <laughs> so then uh, for history I've got Lavender House by AC Rosen um, this I'm going to be listening to on audio it's on script um, this is a history about the matriarch of a family that dies and someone's been brought in to investigate the murder and they're sort of like embroiled in this complicated queer family um i don't want to know too much more about it it sounds so intriguing it sounds right up my alley i remember reading this blurb multiple times and be like mm, yes and then i was like as soon as i saw it on script i was like this is going to my pride reading i'm very excited for it um so yeah finally an excuse to dive into lavender house <laughs> Then when it comes to host recommendations, now I'm being impatient and filming this early, so I delved back into Kathy's um, Instagram and I found the Kings, Queens and In-Betweens by an author whose name I've forgotten because I've read too many names. I was updating myself on what all of these books were about, so some of the names have fallen out of my head. So here it is. Um, this book is basically about a girl who is dating a straight girl, like, you know, the, the plight of so many queer people. Um, and she's feeling sort of like not connected to her community. And then she gets involved in the drag scene. And I love books about drag. I love YA. I love coming of age. I think this is going to be all of those. And that's also going to be on audio. So I'm excited for that one. I love getting a recommendation. Um, I hopefully will get more recommendations throughout this readathon from all the other people's TBRs. But um, yeah, for now, I've had Kings, Queens, and Inbetweens saved on script for so long. And yet again, this is another one. This is a great excuse to read this. So, yes, Kings, Queens, and Inbetweens. <laughs> so, we've already talked about memoir. Now we move on to crime. I didn't think I had one for crime. And then I remembered one of my favorite thriller authors, John Connolly, and his book series uh this one is called the black angel um john connelly is not queer i've met him on multiple occasions he's a lovely man um for how gory he writes books but i love john connelly's books and in these novels charlie parker is usually the main character in this one it's following charlie parker's uh charlie parker is like a um private detective um it follows his like henchmen the like right-hand men they're like good guys but they also like will do bad things and like murder people and these men are a gay couple <laughs> louis is a black man and angel is a hispanic man and they in certain books that have a um a spin-off for them um they you know have go a little bit more into their relationship and i know it's not own voices but the fact that I have been reading these books since I was 19 and they're my favorite crime series and I only came out as queer at 29. <laughs> but the gays, they were there the whole time. <laughs> so yeah, I picked this up at a at the Mollison Market for 30 Rand. So what a deal. A queer deal. <laughs> Okay, then we have NBMC and main author. I was tempted to make Natural Mother of the Child go for that one, but I'm not going to. Um, so we skip right along to Intersectional. And for that, I've got An Ordinary Wonder by Buki Papillon. Papillon? Papillon. Papillon? I'm not sure. Um, oh, folk tales. Folk tales. 
There's a folk tales slot. I forgot about that. Okay, so this one's going to go for folklore and for intersectional. Um, this is a coming age story about um, an intersex twin uh, forced to live as a boy despite their heartfelt belief that they're a girl. Um, so it's from the point of view of a black girl, a black intersex girl, intersectional. Um, I got this at Bargain Books. I couldn't believe it. I was so excited. I was like, how is something so freaking gay? I mean, I'm always looking for more in, uh, like exposure when it comes to intersex people because I don't know as much. Like what I do know is from like a person that I know that is intersex and then lots of research on TikTok. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to get to Ordinary Wonder. Um, and yeah, it says that it has African mythology, art and folklore. This moving modern book follows Otto through a life at home and boarding school in Nigeria. Oh, I love books set in Nigeria. I love them. Um, so yeah, this is hitting all the spots and I can't wait to see what it holds. I don't know how I'm going to get through all of these books. I'm definitely not going to get through all of these books. But it's nice to dream, you know? It's good to dream. <laughs> um, I only have two left, I promise. Uh, second last, so I don't have one for continued and I don't have one for short stories. Sorry, I've got my notebook here. See? A bunch of ephemera just fell out. It's okay. Um, <laughs> so Sapphic, I've got a classic, a TikTok beloved Delilah Green Doesn't Care by Ashley Herring Blake. This is about Delilah who goes back to her um, small town. She doesn't expect to go back there, but it's her stepsister's wedding and she's going to photograph it. And then she meets someone, a single mother called Claire, and they're forced together during the wedding preparations. I love forced pro proximity. Both of these women look foxy as hell. Look how curvy she is. Look at her tattoos. What a bad bitch. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to find out what the fuss is about. And I haven't read a romance in hard in like paperback like this like for a year so i'm really excited <laughs> to get into reading a good old romance in book form drinking my cup of coffee on the couch you know i'm picturing it for myself it sounds great <laughs> and the final book i've got is queer friends and that is going to be wild things by laura k this came out in may so this is out now this is a proof that i got from my aunt um from jonathan ball publishers and Wild Things follows a, a queer friend group and a friends to lovers situation between two women. That's as much as I know. What's really cute is that, oh wait, let me show you. So last year, my aunt said to me, have you heard of Double Booked by Lily London? This is what the actual cover looks like. Um, and I hadn't heard of it and she gave me the blurb and I was like that sounds fucking great So I read this for pride last year. I think did I read this for the Quilla readathon? I might have um, So I read double booked and I absolutely loved it and I followed the author on Instagram I've chatted to her on Instagram. She's adorable. I didn't expect her to see my stuff and then I called her adorable and then she saw it and I was like ah gay panic <laughs> But um, so I read this proof last year, absolutely loved it. Great recommendation from Julie. And then this year, Julie was like, are you interested in this one? So I read the blurb, sounds excellent. As soon as she's like, gay romance, Amy's gonna want it. She's right, <laughs> she's right. And then I saw these two authors post pictures together on Instagram. They're pals, they're little gay pals. I just thought that was cute. You know? <laughs> anyway, that is my Queer Lit Readathon. I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. I'm trying to unmask a little bit more in these videos and it's making sit down videos a lot easier for me to actually film. So yeah, what, what uh, are you guys taking part in the Queer Lit Readathon? If you are, what are you reading? Are you gonna put it on Instagram? Are you gonna put it on YouTube? Let me know, I will follow you and I will watch it. Because I think that's gonna be very exciting to have a whole month Follow the Queer Lit Readathon. Gay, 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 gay. Um, so yeah, if you did enjoy this, please uh, consider like, comment, subscribing, all of that fun stuff. Oh, and my coffee is always linked down below if you want to give a, a good old lesbian a tip for her queer content. <laughs> um, but anyway, <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. I'll check you next time.